hello, uh, friends of the internet. My name is Austin from Austin B Media. Uh, I'm here with Remy, the director, and I believe writer. Did you write this as well, of Mascot? Um, I I wrote kind of the starting ideas, and then um, Gustav Pig, he wrote the script. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I got that right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, Mascot is essentially what I think of it as is. Um, I believe this is your world premiere, um, mm -hmm. and, and you just had it, but you can also watch it on the Slam Dance channel for a, a whopping total of $8 right now if you're in the state of Utah. I think it's geo-locked to Utah. Um, yeah. But um, So if you're in Utah, you can um, watch it for 8 bucks, uh, which is a steal if I'm going to... I mean, it's probably the price of a movie rental. Um so, um, yeah, Mascot is a story about Jeremy and his, I would say Jeremy and his mom, and as well as society, the society that surrounds him. True. That is the best yeah. way I can describe it. Um, so let's just get into that relationship with Jeremy and his mom. Um, what inspired that relationship? Was that a real life thing? Or did you, just, did you and uh, the screenwriter um, Gustav come up hmm. with that? Um. Yeah, he came up with it, but I thought it was quite a clever idea because what I've seen pretty close when I grew up um, and also after, um, I saw a lot of kids, you know, having a very uh, unsafe upbringing. And um, even at the moment, you think, well, it's not that bad, you know, or and you feel parents or especially dads are well, I would call it mentally um, mistreating their kids um, on a just a, on a on a, almost on a daily level, and I, I I really saw them taking really bad turns. Um, I think that's one of the big inspirations also of the movie. Um, but we didn't want to create that as the reason why things turn sour as they go in our movie. Um, and uh, we've been talking about the the well other part maybe that you know a, a mother trying to raise her kids who has a deformed teeth um, maybe mistreats him, but not knowing she's mistreating him because she's giving him so much love and and taking him away from the maybe well hurtful stuff that also makes you you know let, lets you grow up normally so it was it was this kind of you know we didn't want to make it like one-sided um the one thing that the reason why jerry um kind of derails or you know so th this was a very well we tried it was a kind of tr a trial and error to to create um well, maybe frustration of 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 a young boy, but actually being up, um, brought up in a very nice way, but you can say maybe a little bit too nice. Um, so it, it, it's 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 just the the, the uh, we investigated these kind of relationship as him maybe as the reason why somebody becomes very violent. Yeah, and you see a lot of outside influences too. You know, you talk about um, mm -hmm. pornography, you talk about social media, you talk about a about a bajillion other things. Um, yeah. And I think uh, to key on on that social media aspect, I think that's something um, we're just starting to deal with. Um, the idea of, I believe, the term. Uh, is sigma male or alpha male uh, that's going on right now is that mm. um, that if everything's not fair because of, of these circumstances um, so I, I, I just want to talk about how you feel the influence of social media has kind of brought about that whole aspect where people like yeah. um, not to get too political but um, where uh, an Andrew Tate can be platformed to do this meteoric uh, platform, hmm. which is kind of a weird term, platform, but... Yeah, um, 
Yeah. Well, um, I think, you know, growing up at the moment, I mean, you know, I grew up <laughs> having kind of these deformed teeth and it just hits you, you know, your self-confidence. But, you know, I learned to deal with it and it's, you know, um, but, you know, my face wasn't all online like all the time. Um, um, and I think it sometimes it's 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 very confusing all those um, powers that work on you. You know, it's it's either stuff, you know, you compare yourself to or other people you compare yourself to. Um, and, um, you know, it, your behavior is is online all the time you know if you do something it's filmed or it's shown um i mean here in in high schools when when boys fight like boys fight you know i mean you know it's filmed and and uh, so it's not even all on social media it's, it's 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 much bigger you are being watched and i think it 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 creates a frustration about freedom and um, I think you need to be very strong as, as a character to, to deal with that. And you need all the support you can get. And, and like Jeremy, he grows up without a father figure. He, he grows up with a very caring mother. Well, it's, you know, and social media, it's, it's you know, if the algorithms can take you on a certain level and try to, well, they, they, they destabilize in my point of view. And I think that's... Um, well, I think that's something <laughs> we should talk about. Yeah, and to compare it to another film I just got off an interview with, mm -hmm. um, Waiting for the Light to Change, I believe, was the, the last oh, yeah. interview I did yeah, before yeah, yeah. this. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we, we talk about a little bit uh, in that movie where it, it's just those characters in that movie are comparing themselves to Oh gosh, you know, I'm in I feel like I'm in this waiting period where, you know, my friends are skinnier, my friends have kids, yeah. my friends are married, you know. Yeah. Um I know for myself I could find myself um you know, uh I don't know how active you are online. Um but recently my Facebook uh feed has been Oh, look at my baby. And then I hit the X mark. I'm like, oh, okay, snooze this for 30 days because that's making me feel horrible mm. because it creates that kind of goalpost, you know? Yeah. Uh, um, of, oh, I'm insert age here. Um, and I don't have that yet, you yeah. know? And, yeah. and for, um, Jerry or, um, or as his mom calls him, Jeremy, um, I, I would say, um a lot of that is like oh hey people out there don't have what i have and i would love if i was them yeah yeah um, in in all sorts of ways i mean it it can it's on you know as you said pornography so he he starts to confuse sex pornography well everything you know it's it's about what you wear it, it's about what you eat <laughs> you know it's 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 such a broad specter and i have to say uh, um i i went off whilst i was you know whilst we were writing this movie i i i, I went offline <laughs> so i i'm not on any channel anymore and i i, I was scared because i thought well i might miss out on on you know events and you know and because people put everything on on for example facebook just you know and um of course what's the truth behind it and and but after i did it i felt very relaxed <laughs> and I, I have so much more time i mean i create a few things in life it's smoking and it's and it's and it's <laughs> social media and it, it made really made my life better <laughs> it's uh, yeah yeah, it was interesting after I took kind of a Twitter hiatus um, where I was only <laughs> just posting my stuff and not really scrolling. Um, I, I was having a much better time uh, just existing um, yeah. as a yeah. human being because it's like, oh, I'm not having, there's no churn here. There's no, hey, I saw that person's work. I need to like that or, you know. Right something like that and it's just like oh hey let me go read a book or something 
yeah well or, or, okay or or talk to people you know just that, yeah. that's what I, that's what i actually you know love best just to meet people <laughs> yeah yeah and i think in some ways this you also talk about connection in this movie too mm -hmm. um and i, I want to talk about something really quick you know he volunteers at at this facility um and I, I i just want to talk a little bit about how you wanted to i guess represent the, those that were maybe there's uh, those with the intellectual uh disability um because they're very prominent throughout the film and i was just mm -hmm. curious um what you thought about that yeah yeah there's 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 a few reasons we well first we think jeremy actually always wants to be as close as he can to his mother so um and his mother works in care and we believe people who work in care are in danger in this country in in netherlands because there's a lot of cu cuts on uh, on care there's a lot of staff shortage it's um and uh, i i think it's the most important thing we can do is is in in a in a you know in a civilization uh, to care for each other and well to have the the the, the pe how do you would you how do you say the people who are who are most vulnerable um you know they 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 be, they're becoming like um well it's something you can make cuts on like um you know just to save money on and uh, and they won't talk back because you know they'll they'll settle for less and and you know they need to be protected so you know and and also you know him jerry being I think he grew up uh, uh, basically also, you know, in, in that mental institution, uh, helping his mom out. Those people became his friends. And, and uh, if I know one thing is it, it's, it's very true. It's very real. These friendships, you know, there's nothing between and they're unconditional. And of course, in a way we, we, we were saying like, look, who's crazy, you know, is society crazy or is the people we we actually lock up because that's kind of what happens in the story um are they crazy and and you know maybe if jerry wasn't comparing himself all the time he would he would be okay just to just to stay there and and uh you know help out and 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 he would like be the the best um employee ever <laughs> you know because yeah. i feel he's happy um where he is um helping them out so yeah, it had it had a few reasons. <laughs> yeah, there's like a shot earlier on where he's watching uh, J Jerry's watching some kind of video with his AirPods in, and that's generally a time when you want to be left alone. Um, yeah. But he's not bothered when somebody comes up and says, "Hey, how are?" You? Or some somebody yeah, yeah, sits yeah. down next yeah. to him and starts talking to him about uh, how <laughs> um, his dad bought a house that was like too big or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a, a, a kind of nonsense. There's no no real story. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I do think Jer Jerry, those are his real friends um, because yeah. Yeah. Um, there's no, I guess, expectation other than hang out. Let's just talk with one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, he, and, he, and he protects them. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, even killing a small bug for uh, one of them just to make them feel better you know <laughs> that's uh yeah that's that's well that's for me that's kind of the, you know it's the start of the story and you see there's there's a lot of things in jerry that could have made it okay you know i mean he mm -hmm. could have made it and and it's just he takes this movie is about yeah how people can take bad turns that's the tragedy yeah because i mean if you're looking at um his life from the outside to the normal world before he gets too hard into things um mm -hmm. it you'd think oh he's you know happy but then it's like well 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 here's here's the right turn he took instead of the left turn yeah yeah, um, yeah that's it that's definitely it yeah because i mean when we start the movie um when um when his mom's driving him home 
you know, they go and get clothes. She's like, hey, do, don't you need new clothes? And he feels I f uh, comfortable with that, you know, and, and yeah. then yeah. it just kind of escalates and escalates and escalates. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but yeah. Um, so um, where uh, other than Slam Dance, I I, I know um, you this is playing till the twenty ninth or thirtieth, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, via the virtual channel. Um, where else can people catch uh mascot? Um. Well, it's it's gonna be. Well, first we will premiere in um, with the European premiere in in the uh, Rotterdam Film Festival. Oh, nice. That's uh, that's tomorrow, so that that's going to be a lot of fun because that that's kind of our official release, also nationally, and the whole crew will be there and everybody, you know, and it will have its uh, theatrical release next week. So it'll nice. run in cinemas first, and then. It'll show in a few festivals. Um, it's going to go to Belgium. We're going to go to Manchester uh, in March. So yeah, but and uh, yeah, we we're still looking for like international distribution. Um, that's still on the table. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> if I could recommend a few, um, maybe Mubi Music Box. I know they're really good about international distribution. I think. Yeah, I think if I remember right, Drive My Car was Music Box, um, right? Films, right, which then got it sold to HBO. Um, but those are two of my favorite boutique ones. Um, mm. let's see, I, I don't think IFC. Well, maybe IFC. They did official competition last year. Um, but yeah, there's a, there is a ton. Um, let let me know if you need contacts for those. Um, sure, I don't know. Yeah. If, I, I don't know if I have sales contacts, but um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to see it get out there. Um, Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess also A24 is kind of getting into international stuff too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. They're, they are, uh, yeah. But yeah, um, well, I hope so, someone picks it up. I'll, I'll, I'll um, make sure to reach out to a few people, see if they... Uh, see see what happens there um yeah. but um i'd also i i said this to my two other interviews uh, today um i'd also recommend um if if you can um uh, i don't know film independent rules um but i i just have a hunch uh that after spirit awards voting it might be a great time to get um some indie films that are coming out this year um yeah. in there and I'd love to see mascot in maybe January, February, um, closer to uh, international release. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying. We've we've sent in quite quite a lot of uh, interna uh, American um, uh, festivals too. So that's we hope we can keep that festival circuit running this year because we've just we've just started uh, our um, our festival um, circuit. So yeah, I'm really hoping we pick some or oh, somebody picks us up, you know. That's uh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll I'll make sure people know about it. Um uh, but thank you mm -hmm. uh so much for joining me, Rumi. Um I hope again, I know I said this before, but I hope people see it. Um my whole goal with actually going to Slam Dance, mm -hmm. albeit virtually, was to cover the films that I don't think people are talking about um mm -hmm. all too much uh, and also i think with it more indie uh whatever that means indie uh yeah, yeah. festival yeah. festival um i know a lot of people are talking about sundance right now but i think a lot of these slam dance films i think really should get uh picked up like waiting for the light to change and sweetheart deal i believe uh yeah. don't have don't have distribution yet no, uh, I've seen I've seen them. They're, they're great. They're really I've I've seen tons of or oh, not tons, but <laughs> the, the 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 time I was there, I've, I've you know I was really amazed by the by the um, you know quality and and um, well really proud. We were we were <laughs> we were in in that you know. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. But uh, yeah, it was so great hanging out with you. Um, 
for those at home, uh, I'll have links to everything uh, about Mascot in the YouTube description down below. And uh, until next time, dance. Uh, have a great have a great time at the Rotterdam International yeah, Film yeah. Festival. I know it's a quick turnaround for you, so uh, <laughs> make sure to sleep tight tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's I will. I will. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. All right. Have a good one. You too.